Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a confectionery marshmallow chocolate cream. This is part three of my series of creams. Please subscribe and please share. Anyway, we'll get on with the video. recipe is under the video in the description. First things guys, we put the margarine or butter into the bowl. And fix this to the machine. Right, we'll start this on first speed. And then knock it up onto third speed so it gets nice and creamed up. Right, now what we want to do is add in half the icing sugar. Now be very careful with this guys, because when you start the machine up, you want to start it on first speed for one minute, just to let it turn around. Otherwise the icing sugar goes all over the kitchen. Now you can whack that up a bit to around about third speed. can go higher if you want but on this K mix it tends to be not very good at very very high speed right then we'll add in the next part of the icing sugar that's it be very gentle again the same thing is be careful put it on first speed just let it turn around and then you can slowly put the speed up. I'm going to knock the speed up now so I can get that nicely creamed up nice and light. As you can see it's getting nice and light. Now I'll take the machine bowl off and I'm going to give this a real good scrape down. Don't forget guys, get the butter off the bottom of the bowl because it always seems to stick on the bottom. Right, now get your marshmallows and now we're going to add the water into the marshmallows. Now we're going to pop the marshmallows into the microwave for around about two or three minutes. If it needs longer because of your power of your microwave, then a little bit longer. Bring them out, check them, give them a good stir around. If it needs to go back in, just pop them back in. I can see this is actually starting to come down nicely, these marshmallows. mix it in so it's nice and smooth. Now we're going to start adding in the chocolate. Because the marshmallows are still warm, the chocolate will melt in nicely. There you go, it makes a really lovely looking cream. So you want that to be really smooth. take the bowl off. Now we'll add all this chocolate mixture in to the marshmallows. Mm, that tastes good. That's all of it in the bowl. Now we're going to put it back onto the machine and knock it onto first speed for around about a minute so you get it all turned in. Now 
I slightly turn up the speed. Because there's a lot more in the machine bowl, I would say third speed would be plenty. Now take it off and give it a good scrape down. Make sure all the white cream is off the bottom. Now pop it back onto the machine. And again, we'll start off on first speed. Let's mix that round. And now we'll slowly knock that up onto third speed. If you've got a better quality machine than this, you can actually take it up a lot higher. But my machine makes funny noises when I turn it up high. Right, now we're ready. Now get the bowl off the machine. There it is, lovely. Now we're going to pour it into the bowl. There we go. And now that's ready to use. Now remember, this is still warm. So don't expect to be piping shells and things from it. I'm now going to give you a demonstration of what I use it for. Though it's still warm, as I said just now, you really need to leave it so it cools right down if you want to pipe on top of small cakes and things. I wouldn't attempt to pipe out shells or swirls with this cream as it is at the moment. It's still too warm. But if you leave it for around about an hour, it would be all right. This is ideal for filling viennies. Makes a lovely filling. There you go, it's beautiful. I'll tell you that tastes absolutely lush. There we go. Now another one I've used it for is piping onto sugar paper. As you can see, these will flow out a bit because it's still warm. If I'd left it an hour, they would actually hold up. But the idea with these, I want a flat, flatter looking. And then what I'm going to do with these then is dip them in chocolate. As you can see, the ones with the Easter eggs on. So when you eat those, there are actually a nice soft cream inside and it just melts in your mouth. And you've got your Viennese and some chocolate slices. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I did enjoy making that cream video, I must say. It's an absolutely beautiful flavour cream and you've got to try it out. Now, do check out my playlist below. Also, do check out the traditional bakery Facebook page. Please subscribe and please share. Anyway, we'll see you again in the next video. Laters!